welcome to day three of uh, CMAT 2023. Paul and I have had a big night after spending probably a few too many hours with the guys at Big Ass Fans at their Big Ass Beers last night. As you tell, we've just knocked off a microphone from the guys at Import Export TV, so I hope they don't mind. Paul, what are you looking forward to today, bud? Yeah, look, day three, I want to see more in the Aussie manufacturing space, and I want to see all the other stuff that we haven't yet seen in, in that smart logistics spot and all that smart warehousing and robotics that, that we really come here to see. Yep. So stay tuned, and uh, I hope you get the most out of today. Curtis, welcome to Manufacturing Tech Australia. Thanks for taking me into the metaverse. This Absolutely. is really exciting stuff. Can you give us a bit of an introduction about um, what we're looking at here? Absolutely. So, brief background into the TMX metaverse. Basically, it's something that we started to develop during COVID. Yeah. Australia, we had some of the hardest lockdowns in the world, remote working, things like that. And basically, we decided to develop this software to mitigate those problems. Borderless collaboration, the decentralization of knowledge, things like that. And basically what it's transformed into since then is a platform that's revolutionized the way that we approach DC design solutions, workshopping, and also experience-based training. Yeah. yeah, fantastic. Yeah, I can see the distribution center here. I can see some docking bays. So is this the kind of thing you would, you'd be designing up DCs and organizing the flow of materials and things like that? What's the main use case? There's a couple of different use cases. Number one is DC design. Designing a facility before it's built, you can see how actually I'm scaling myself up much larger now. Yeah. I'm going to bring you to me, this but I'm actually... Like man <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> I'm the giant. I'm going to bring you to me. Give yeah. me one second. So wow. right now we're at like giant scale size, right? Mm -hmm. And what I can do is just remove the roof of the facility cool. and we can talk through it like that. Right now you're sitting opposite me here in Sydney, yeah. but you could be joining from Melbourne, you could be joining from Singapore, you could be joining from anywhere around the world in this same space at the same time with me and yeah. we can workshop and collaborate in real time utilizing some of these tools. So you can see how I'm now gonna start sketching. Yeah. I'm gonna say, how about we move this actually over here? Right. Being able to actually have that visual connection with the things that you're saying is actually really beneficial, yeah. especially when we're dealing with DCs. Some of them could be like 25,000 square meter facilities, and we're trying to work on a PowerPoint presentation where we're yeah. looking at that 2D plan. And the thing is that if you don't have an architectural background, it might be a little bit difficult to understand exactly what we're talking about. Absolutely. But if you're able to jump in, act like this in a 3D virtual world, mm -hmm. being able to use, use your eyes to yeah. fully understand and see what you're looking at, then it's super beneficial. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I guess even more important now that we're seeing so many different technologies, bringing the goods to the picker and those kind of things, all these new ways of dealing with picking and packing that we haven't seen before, I guess yeah. it's even more important. Yeah, exactly. So you can also utilize like on that note, if you're showing a new kind of solution, many people are going from manual to automated now, you yeah. can use this software to instruct the flow of a new automation system, okay. utilize this tool to flow exactly how the flow of the facility. So then you can fully understand what it's going to look like, how it's going to work. Yeah, you can yeah. get the green tick of approval much more easier Excellent. if you have that if you have that visual validation. Awesome. And I, I guess you could come up with with a bunch of different concepts and run through each one and absolutely and, and look at that in 3d it's, yeah, it's pretty exactly. impressive so what we've done in the background like we've spent the past year and a half developing our digital library portfolio mm -hmm. so basically using all different kinds of things we use in the supply chain industry double deep racking standard select racking mm -hmm. the you know, forklifts that we use in australia so then what you can do is actually drag and drop those in real time so if you're doing like a collaborative workshop you can say yeah let's drag and drop this racking in here and yeah. because it's a scaled environment even though we've made ourselves large mm -hmm. the model is still at a one is to one scale so if we move a racking yeah. three meters over to the right that's exactly how it's going to be in real life so all those changes and modifications are actually reflective of accurate measurements so it's a really beneficial when you're doing meta workshopping doing yeah. workshopping and you can do these things in real time excellent so yeah. I guess aside from designing warehouses and DCs, what other sort of applications are we seeing in, in industry for, for the metaverse? Another thing that we like to showcase about the TMX metaverse is mm -hmm. the experience-based training side of things. So basically that's bringing someone into a scaled risk-free environment before yeah. it's built, having them basically be trained up. Can you see the screen uh, behind me over here? Yeah. So basically we've actually got a cloud analytics platform where if I instruct a pick right now, and I pick up this you know, packet here and I pop it in there and I hit done. All yep. this data is actually getting live fed to the screen over here on my right. Yep. If you're having, you're training up new people with a new kind of solution, you can see who's struggling, where, where your bottlenecks are happening, where you can potentially make these changes before the facility actually opens. So you're not gonna face any of those issues when you're up and running. 
Wow, that's great. It's kind of like VR was used in training to do onboarding and site induction, things like that, but I guess this has taken it to a whole new level. Exactly, it's really yeah. exciting. It's really exciting days. So TMX, we're always trying to invent tomorrow and this is what we're doing with this software. We're always trying yep. to stay one step ahead of the game. Yep. But I think by doing this, it might seem a little bit far-fetched for some people, but we're really proud at sticking our neck out and trying to be the number one you know, first at doing these sort of things. So, so exciting days. That's really interesting, Curtis. Thanks yeah. heaps for, for your time today. And thanks for, sh for showing me around the metaverse. Absolutely, anytime. It was my pleasure. Cheers. Thank you. So I'm here with Paul from Omnium. Well, Paul, welcome to Manufacturing Tech Australia. Yeah, thank you, Shane. It's good to be here. You want to tell us a little bit about what's going on here behind us? To be honest, we've got our Omni, we call it the sortation table. People confuse it with the conveyor, but it goes into a conveyor. So what we're doing is we've integrated our Omni wheel mm -hmm. and changed the way people move boxes and packages. So really targeted around fulfillment and logistics centres. And with one simple table, we can move boxes 360 degrees, whichever way you want them to go. Yeah, right. So I guess the wheels are your patented product and whatnot. What's a bit of the history behind that? Yeah, so exactly. So the Omni wheel is our core product. That's what we manufacture here in Australia. So we're based up in Newcastle, in Beresfield. And look, the Omni wheel's been around for a long time. It's the way it's made and the reliability of it, which we've really perfected. You know? So we have a bunch of different size wheels. We go from a 35 mil up to a 180 now. And we're in developing a 150 millimeter wheel. And so the helical bush in our bigger wheels is what really sets it apart from the competition and makes it a truly industrial, heavy duty wheel. Yeah. We love talking about Aussie made products that are taken on the world. Where's Absolutely. some of the different markets you're playing in? Yeah, so it is. And, and that's one of the good things about this. It's most of our business, about half our business is in the US. Yeah. So we have our, our sortation tables go to the US. Our wheels, we manufacture a hand trolley, so we have the hand truck there. That Again, we have some partners in the US who distribute that product and use it over there. The UK, and we even export these wheels, wheels to China. Right? So the people in China, we actually had a good story last week, one of our distributors in China using our product with a high-end manufacturer there. Mm -hmm. They went and sourced an inferior copy wheel mm -hmm. in the background and it failed within the day. So they've gone back to using our products and they won't, won't... They won't make that mistake again? They won't make that mistake again. <laughs> They'll stick with it. Yeah, exactly. So you've gone with making mobility intuitive as the tagline. Surely you were going to go with reinventing the wheel. <laughs> we used to have reinvented... We haven't reinvented the wheel, which has made it better. Yeah. But yeah, we've gone with uh, making mobility intuitive now. Yeah. Awesome, mate. Yeah. Paul, thanks for having us. Pleasure. Thanks, Cheers. Shane. Kelvin, thanks for joining us on Manufacturing Tech Australia. Yeah, thank you very much. So Kelvin from Hick Robot, I really love what you've got here, AMR forklift, like the traditional ones are sort of more AGV, this one's more AMR technology with the LiDAR and the laser technology. So tell us maybe a little bit about the products that you've got here. Okay, first thing is uh, we are Hick Robot. We are the OEM manufacturer of AMR robot and machine vision. That means we are doing the AMR machine and also the machine vision. Okay, in here, what we are going to demonstrate to you is the cooperation of different kinds of the robot. In here, you can see our forklift robot, and another one is a four meter high CTU. CTU we call carton to you. That means you pick the carton, pick the bin, pick the boxes to you. And the bottom little one, the little car, but just behind the CTU, is we call an AMR, okay. In here, all the robot can be working together, cooperation. The warehouse is how it look like, maybe just eight meter high or 10 meter high, okay. Yeah. High side racking. That city is just helping the business owner to improve the efficiency and storage. Just pick, pick different boxes. We can pick the plastic tow, bin, or even for the paper boxes. When it can be picked, we put down to the, the multi, what we call is a multi-level, multi-layer shell, okay. Yeah. We put all together, from the storage area all the way to the pack station. That right. is the that is the workflow, the operation of the warehouses. And all the thing when we pass, when you there you can see a few camera, that is what we call the barcode reading gate. When all the good with the barcode is passed through the gate, we will capture the barcode right. in three seconds. Yep. So it saves a lot of time. In the past you can imagine in the past the people used the, the barcode scan gun to scan. Yep. But now everything automated. On the another side is the robot frog tip. Mm. That is, I think everybody got the idea how the frog lift can work, okay? And here is, you can imagine is, okay, in real situation of the warehouse, you got a frog clip to pick up the whole pallet from the loading area and then and put away to the, to the story actual. And here you can imagine is a, just a, 
mini side of the warehouse to show you how it works. Yeah. Mm. Excellent. It's great technology, Calvin. Yeah, so, yeah. So where do you see this heading in the future? What's coming next? Okay. Robot is first. In the future, the ultimate goal is the unmanned operation in the warehouse. That mm -hmm. is the ultimate goal. But from now, especially in Australia, we need to go through step by step. First, we change from manual operation to robot. Second, we totally change to unmanned operation for the whole warehouse. That yeah. is the ultimate goal. Mm. Great. Thanks for, for joining us today, Calvin. Yeah. Thanks for your help on that. Really Thank interesting. Thank you so much. Yeah, cheers. cheers. So Shane, that's a wrap day three of CMAT 2023. I had an amazing time in the metaverse. <laughs> that you did. In the industrial metaverse, simulating myself whilst being recorded on a podcast. So that's a new thing for me. It's got to be pretty close to the first time someone's podcasted from the metaverse, I thought. Or at least we're going to claim it until someone tells us otherwise. True. What did you enjoy from today, mate? I got to meet the people who reinvented the wheel. I thought that was pretty exciting. And I got the key ring to prove it. So now I can show my kids what the new improved wheel looks like. I enjoyed the conversation you had with the guys at Hick Robot. I thought that was pretty exciting. They used some acronyms I'd never heard of before. I'm sure you know what they mean, because I don't. Actually, you should probably explain what the hell they were talking about. Yeah, at Hick Robot and a lot of the other um, places we've seen here, we've got some automated storage and retrieval systems. But what I liked is the integration between not just the storage, but the AMRs running around, picking stuff to and from the warehouse. So it was really interesting to see that sort of integration amongst all those different warehouse elements, not just things standing on their own. Yeah, I reckon so. If you didn't get a chance to get down here, I hope you thought this was useful and you got some um, good insight from it. You should definitely get here next year. I think it's in Melbourne next year, isn't it? Yeah, Melbourne next year, CMAT 2024. So come to CMAT 24 and uh, catch up with us. Excellent. It's a wrap.